Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? It's your boy, the Krabby Crusher here. And yeah, I know I look like Alex. I don't know what happened to my skin, but believe me, it's me. Okay. So, anyway, so here we are, my friend. I'm right now standing in my fish and bone farm. As you can see behind me, there are fishes spawning and dying. So. Yeah, my friend, today in this video, we're going to build this pace and bone farm. So this farm right here, my friend, gives you cooked salmon, cooked cod, and a lot of bones. So if you don't know, there are 25% chance of this fish dropping bones. So if you need a lot of bone meal, my friend, this farm would be your first choice. That's because this farm is insanely fast and this farm can literally fill this double chest within less than two hours. So I have been uh, running this farm for around, I think, less than 20 minutes. And as you can see, my chest is uh, one third or more filled with pieces and bones. So as you can see as soon this fish spawns they would be funneled towards our campfires and as soon as they drop on top of our campfire they get cooked and there is 25 percent chance that this fish would drop a bone so yeah my friend if you need a lot of bone you should build this farm this should be your first choice to be honest because the rate of this farm is insanely high so yeah my friend with all that said let's begin our tutorial so the first thing you have to do to build this farm is to find yourself an ocean because fishes only spawn in ocean and river and for our farm we are going to need a ocean biome and to make sure we are in ocean biome we are going to go at least 10 blocks away from our land okay so this is how much is this one two three four so i'm going to go five six seven eight eight 9 10 and we're going to place another block right here so this is totally 11 blocks so just go ahead and place 11 blocks away from your land now we are going to go to y150 yes we are going to go up to our y150 so just go ahead and turn on your coordinates and go up to 1 50 you can use uh, scaffolding that would be easier but i'm using blocks just to let you guys know that you can definitely build this farm using solid blocks as well so just go ahead and just place blocks until you reach to y 150 right guys so, so here we are my friend we are now standing on y 50 so once you are in y 50 the next step you have to do is to jump on the water so just go ahead and jump on the water like this my god and just dropped way down now once you are safely on the ground just go ahead and start placing ladder and you will reach to the top so once you have placed all your ladders now go ahead and make yourself a platform so you can stand on it right so just go ahead and make yourself a platform like this now it should be time to place our chest so just grab yourself two chest and 22 hoppers yep you had it right we are going to need 22 hoppers for our uh, collection system so just go ahead and place two chest like this now stand on this chest and crouch down and place a hopper right over here funneling towards this chest now stand on this hopper and place another hopper like this now we're going to place 10 more hoppers to this way and another 10 more connecting to this hopper to this way so just just do it real quick so we're going to place one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so total 11 hoppers now we're going to do the same on this side as well like this so once you do this it should look something just like this and make sure all of the hoppers are funneling towards this chest 
now go ahead and grab yourself some building blocks i am using glass but you can use any solid blocks it's up to your choice now we're going to place blocks around the border of our hopper so we are going to surround the hoppers using solid blocks like this also do it on this side as well we're going to surround this thing on this side as well and finally on top of our chest but guys make sure the top blocks of our chest is made out of glass or stair blocks otherwise the chest won't open so in order to open the chest you have to place glass blocks or uh, stairs you can place uh, upper slabs as well anyways once you do this it should look like this now grab yourself my friend soul sand and make sure these are soul sand and not soul soil so just go ahead and collect uh, soul soil from the nether now my friend we are going to make a 8 by 11 platform using our soul sand on this side and as well as on this side so just go ahead and make a 8 by 11 uh, platform using our soul sand just like this and we're going to do this on this side as well so this is three four five six seven eight and we're going to do all the way right like this so my friend once you do this it should look like this so this is a 8 by 11 platform now we're going to do the same thing on this side as well so once you do this my friend it should look like this now my friend go ahead and we're going to surround our soul sand using a three high wall so we're going to place one two three high walls using some solid blocks you can obviously use glass blocks just like me but it doesn't matter what kind of blocks you use so just go ahead and surround the border using three high blocks of wall like this all the way like this so here it is guys our farm is now looking like this so basically we have surrounded our farm uh, entirely using three block high walls and by the way guys if you made these walls using solid blocks you have to spawn proof them using some slabs or any buttons or etc so if you don't want any creepers to spawn you in your farm and blow the entire farm you have to spawn proof the wall but you can use glass and you don't have to use slabs and the reason is that no mobs can spawn on top of a glass right so once you do this it should look something just like this and the next step guys is to we have to cover all of our soul soil using some temporary blocks so just go ahead and cover every soul sand using our solid blocks i think i am confusing with soul sand and uh, soul soil <laughs> now and then so just ignore if i am messing up the name it's really confusing i know but see soul sand okay not soul soil remember it it is soul sand which has these uh, ugly looking faces on the, as this texture so we have to place solid blocks on top of all of our soul sand like this like this so it should look like this and we have to do the same thing on this side as well so we have to place solid blocks on top of each sole sand like this you can use any blocks of your chairs dirt sand it doesn't matter because these are all temporary blocks we're going to remove them in a while i am using copper because i am creative mode i am in creative mode and it is 1.17 wow <laughs> so i have to demonstrate it okay anyway let me just cover it up real quick so once you do this my friend it should look like this so we have placed temporary blocks on top of our soul sand now go ahead and grab yourself gates of any kind and come to this side because we are going to place gates at the end of our temporary blocks like this so we are going to place gates on the end of our temporary blocks like this and we're going to do the same on this side as well so basically this gate will prevent the water from going inside of our killing chamber so we're going to place the gates at the end of our temporary blocks like this 
and now just go ahead and open this gate so our fishes can go through the gates so once you do this it should look like really <laughs> this should <laughs> it should look like this now go ahead and grab yourself some water buckets and we're going to place water buckets on this side just opposite to the side of our hoppers so we're going to place waters on this block right here like this all the way till this end like this so as you can see the water should float all this way to right here till the gates now we are going to go ahead and remove all the blocks that we have placed just now so my friend once you remove all the temporary blocks your farm should look like this now go ahead and come to this side or you can go to that side of new way doesn't matter which side you choose but i'm going to choose on this side right so just come to this side and we're going to place water on this row like this so we're going to place a water bucket right on this block on this block on that block like that all the way till the end and this my friend would turn the bottom layer of our water into source blocks and fishes need source block in order to spawn so the fishes would need a solid block and a source block source block in order for them to spawn so basically we have to place water on this row on top of this temporary blocks like this so the water should floats towards this gate and now we have to remove all these temporary blocks so once we remove all the temporary blocks it should look like this now we have to come to this side and we're going to place water on this row like this like that like that like that and it should turn the bottom layer of our water into source block and our fish should start spawning as you can see our fishes are now started spawning and let's see how many fish do we have oh my god them out rip ladders oh, they are fine so as you can see you already got uh, four raw cod and two raw salmon so as you can see guys this farm is now giving you raw pieces but if you want to have cooked salmon and cooked cod you have to place campfires on top of each hopper like this so this campfire will cook all the pieces and you are going to get a lot of cooked fish and bones obviously so there is 25 percent chance of our fish to drop bones so just go ahead and place campfires on top of each hopper just like this and be careful you might get burned by this campfire so i would recommend you to use a fire resistant portion while making this farm so my friend once you did this it should look like this all smoky and moky so my friend once you placed all your campfires on top of the hoppers it should look like this and by the way i have placed some strings on top of these campfires to prevent them from you know emitting all these smokes so if you don't want smokes you can place string on top of them it is not necessary and it doesn't affect any our rates of our farm so it doesn't matter but if you don't want smoke you can just uh, place string on top of the campfires right and now my friend the last thing we have to do is to build our afk platform so we have to build our afk platform 21 blocks high from our collection system so basically we have to go 20 blocks away from our uh, water source block so this is right here my friend is 150 so we are going to go to uh, 171 or at least 172 so choose a side where you want to make a filler so for the farm maybe i'm just going to place the filler from here so this is one so we're going to go to uh, 171 so 171 why level like this like this so we are on 171 and this should be our fk platform and if we stand a little bit here as you can see the fish should start to spawn as you can see they are now spawning and they are now dying so this would be my friend would be our fk platform so just go ahead and make yourself a, you know, a platform where you can you know spend your nights hiding from all the phantoms if you don't want to get hurt by them so you can just go ahead and make a platform like this and
so once you do this my friend it should look like this i have placed some blocks on top of our head because some people say if you have blocks on top of your head uh, there is no chance of phantom spawning in your world so if you want to afk for a long time i recommend you guys to build a chamber around here to be safe and uh, sound safe and sound my god my english is bad now just go down and place ladder till the top until you reach to your afk platform my friend once you do this it should look something you know something kind of just like this but you can make a room right here anyway now you the thing you have to do is to wait for all our fish to spawn you can just go ahead and afk for a night or hours but to be honest if you uh, afk for around uh, two hours the double chest will be filled with fishes and bones so you don't have to really uh, afk for long so as you can see our fishes are now spawning and they are happily dying like that and you are going to get a ton of bones and ton of fishes so this farm my friend will definitely solve all your food situation and all your bone meal situation so this is a definitely a must have farm so as you can see it's not been about five minutes and we have all these uh, cooked salmon cooked cod and bones so yeah my friend i hope you like this farm and the full credit of this farm goes to oink oink because this farm is inspired from his um, peace and bone farm i have just simplified this farm so you guys don't have to grind for our trident and stuff so my friend that's all i have for this video hope you enjoyed and if you do don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new to this channel just go ahead and subscribe for more farms videos like this and my friend i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and bye bye